Hey guys, it's me, Rusty78609. It is, I think, Wednesday about 1.35 p.m. Central Standard Time, 12.35 Mountain Standard Time, and I'm moving down the highway again. And uh, I was at Dog, <clears throat> I was at Dog Canyon Campground in the Guadalupe Mountains National Park last night. And before that, I was at Pine Springs Campground. Today, I went through Carlsbad, New Mexico and resupplied. I got some ice and uh, items I need for camping in my Prius since I don't cook. But I got some good stuff. I got some uh, good old dried sausage and I got some uh, what else did I get? I got some grapes and I got some strawberries and uh, loaded up with beer again and uh, what else? Paper towels and stuff. Just a few little odds and ends. Filled up with gas. Uh, still averaging just a little over 50 miles a gallon. Four cents a mile. So if this uh, trip goes for a thousand miles, that's or it'll go further than that close to 2,000 probably. Say 2,000 miles would be $80 of gasoline and you'd use that much in a motorhome in uh, your half, first half of your day. And, uh, anyway, it's really enjoyable out here. The temperature right now, elevation probably 4,000 feet approximately here. 74 degrees Fahrenheit and uh, low tonight where I'm going, I'm going back around to Pine Springs because you can stay in these parks for up to 14 days before you're supposed to move on. And then, uh, and then you gotta wait like 28 days if you wanna come back. That's what they say. I don't know how they, how they enforce that, but I guess they do somehow. And, uh, but it is been, it's been good. No, no insects at all. Uh, haven't been bothered by any insects and uh, the weather's been perfect for camping. I gotta rearrange my bed tonight. And that's one of the things I'm gonna work on when I get back. But they make a little bed that fits right here that, that you can buy with a fitted sheet or fitted sheets. And uh, that would be better than an air mattress. Even though the air mattress is comfortable and I sleep quite well on it, uh, it would just be more of a sort of a permanent thing if I decided to go on an extended trip and I don't know if I'll ever do that or not it's in my mind and uh, but these little trips like this you know five to fifteen days every now and then work good for me and it kind of breaks the routine uh, I've got a wine tasting event coming up uh, I think it's the 12th or in that range of October so Got two in October, two tasting events. And, uh, but other than that, it's just been a pretty smooth camping deal. There's not much out of the, uh, the, uh, the mountains you saw in, in this or see in this video off to the right. That that's the Guadalupe Mountains, and that mountain on the end to the left of the mountain on the mountain ranges. That's the tallest mountain in Texas. I think it's called El Capitan. I, I could be wrong on that, but I think that's it. I mean, I'm not big on names of objects and things. I mean, it, it is what it is. It's a tall mountain. And uh, I don't care about what, what the name of it is. Ribbon of darkness over me. Uh, it does seem to make camping a little bit more enjoyable to have a cell phone service. I don't, do I ever get any calls? Hardly ever. Uh, do I use the internet much other than for uploading or doing videos and uploading them? That's about all I do. So why is it a concern? I have no idea. Just something in my mind. Something in my mind. But a lot of people will not go to campgrounds that don't have Wi-Fi or cell phone service. And I may go from here, I'm not sure 
could go, I'm not sure of a lot of things, right? Well, that's the way I do camping. I just kind of go and I get the feeling and I go, go, go. But the, uh, I'm going to stay here probably, I'm going to stay here two nights more at Pine Springs Camp Campground and then move on over, I think, to Big Bend National Park to Chisos Basin, which is up in the elevations in the park. It's close to 6,000 feet there. And the temperature, the weather looks really good for the next few days. And the campground there this time of the year is not too busy. In October and November it picks up a little bit because the temperature comes down for quite pleasant camping. And uh, also, for some, there are certain things that bloom out in the desert uh, in the fall that are pretty, I'm told. Uh, I've been out there, I just never really noticed it. Okay, it says we've got seven miles to the visitor center at Guadalupe Mountains National Park. And, uh, but it's nice. I love this out here. A lot of people may not like this because it is barren, desolate country. There's not a, hardly a car on the highway. The nearest gas station from Guadalupe Mountains National Park uh, is probably Carlsbad. That's about 65 miles. Or the nearest services of any kind would be Carlsbad. If you're going west on this road here, the next stop would be El Paso, and that's about 111 miles from Guadalupe Mountains National Park. The weather tonight is supposed to be in the low, or mid, probably middle 50s, and the highs in the middle 70s, and that's about as good as it's going to get for camping. If it drops down into the 40s, it's not bad. Upper 40s, but lower 40s uh, is a little cool. And if it doesn't get much above that during the day, it gets a little uncomfortable. Oh, the, the, the number of that highway that goes, there, there was a comment wanting to know the number of the highway. They couldn't find it on the map that goes to Dog Canyon. It's, uh, it's a county highway in, in New Mexico, and it's number 137. And whether you can find that one on the map, I don't know. But that's the number. I saw it as I was coming out of the park today, and I recall that somebody had left a comment saying they couldn't find it. Well, maybe that'll help you. Now, you talk about the remote. Dog Canyon is probably one of the most remote campsites I've been to. I mean, it's, it's not busy. And there, that's the reason, because it's a long way from any interstate long way from any town. Carlsbad is an hour and a half from the Dog Canyon. And there's a little stop there called Queens City. And they have ice, say they have ice and stuff, but I stopped there twice and there was nobody there. I mean, it looks like it's open, but the hours, I guess, are just when they happen to be there. But out there, I can see why, because they only get one customer a year. And that was me, and they missed me. But, uh, ribbon of darkness over me. Really nice, folks. I just love this country. I love these dry, I love high desert. I really do. I love those endless views. Uh, you know, you get up here at the, at the Pine Springs Campground, Guadalupe Mountains. And it's, you know, you just take a few steps and you've got an endless view. That's because you fell off the mountain. <laughs> Let's be careful about that. But, uh, but for you car campers and you Prius campers, uh, van campers too, it's not difficult. And uh, could you live in a van full time? and live very inexpensively or a Prius or a car, yeah, you could. Yeah, it's something you'd have to get, you have to get organized, but once you get your stuff organized, you know where everything is, you, you know, kind of got, got stuff where you put your hands on it or you remember where it is, so you don't buy the same thing six times. 
Yeah, that makes a lot. And, you know, as far as the restrooms, that's not a problem. As far as the shower, not a problem. Unless you're in a really cold place. But then you can defeat that by taking what I call a whore's bath where you just use a wash rag, get some of those at Walmart, soak them in water. Or you can put a little alcohol in the water if you choose to. Uh, and, uh, you know, just you know, start from the top and go down. And the last spot you get, you know which one that is. Uh, then you can just throw that um, washcloth away and 20 of them cost you three bucks. So, you know, or 15 of them, whatever it was. They're about 20 cents a deal. I just throw them away, you know. But usually, uh, if the weather permits, and uh, you know, I can set a water jug out, a gallon water jug out for about, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half to two, two hours is good if, in direct sunlight. That'll warm it up. I mean, it'll warm it up really comfortable, and then you can just pour it on yourself. But what I've been doing lately is uh, I just pour the water onto a washcloth, go from the top down, and then I put water in my hands and splash my face, you know, do my ears and stuff again, and, you know, just kind of reinforce. I never use soap. You know, a lot of people use bath soap. I, I haven't used bath soap in uh, 22 years. <clears throat> Ever since I was in the Peace Corps and learned that that was a bunch of crap, you know, all it is is a load of chemicals that cause all kind of problems. And uh, I don't know how long this video is. I don't know when I'll get it uploaded. It's such a pretty drive with those mountains in the background that I thought I'd just kind of share that with you. It is really nice, but we're climbing now. I can tell. I, 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 uh, my car's is straining a little more. But I'm cruising along about 58 miles an hour, not a car on a highway. Every now and then I see one, but not often. This little place up here where these buildings are, you can't maybe see one on the left. That's called Pine Springs. And uh, it's just, it's a place where uh, some of the people that work at the park live. And uh, sometimes when you get the weather report from this area, it's for Pine Springs. And you just have to remember that Pine Springs is always a little bit warmer than the campground at Guadalupe Mountains or at, Pine, at the Pine Spring Camp area or Dog, Dog Canyon. But we're fixing to turn in here. What do we got on this? I can't see how much time it's been. Uh, this is it. This is the entrance to Guadalupe Mountains National Park, right here. La, 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 la. You know, why do I do this? I ask myself. I do, I do. It, you know, it's just the, the total freedom, I guess of being out here in the middle of nowhere. Now this, uh, yesterday, the other day when I was here at this campground, it was pretty crowded. But even when it's crowded, uh, it's not that bad. And the reason is the campers out here are the old pros. I mean, these are the people that go camping a lot and they kind of obey the rules about being quiet. And usually after nine o'clock at night, you can't hear a sound and during the day, there's nobody playing a stereo real loud or, you know, being loud. You know, these people are, you know, the people that come to this campground are, you know, they're not your city folks just out for a weekend. They're, they're uh, people that are serious about, you know, mountain climbing, you know, maybe mountain biking. And uh, they've done a lot of it, so they abide by the rules. I'll end this when I get to my campsite. Hopefully it's available if it's not. That, well, the good thing about camping in a Prius, if it's not available, it doesn't really mean a hell of a lot. <laughs> I just moved to some other site. Um, but we're right in the Guadalupe Mountains here. I guess you can see this pretty good. And the temperature has dropped down to even 70 right now. And it's uh, 150, 150 p.m. Central Standard Time. 12.50 Mountain Standard Time. The RV on the right is for the camp host. 
and there's the fees four dollars with golden age passport that's me eight dollars per site otherwise there are no hookups here for you RVers none not Naren they do have water and they do have the old uh, toilets but that's it as far as Wi-Fi and uh, cell phone it's, it's some they have Wi-Fi at the uh, visitor center and it's okay it's not it's, it's not quick it's about one and a half megabytes download and maybe about the same upload yeah they got my spot right here it almost blocked me but not quite not a problem not a problem folks backing into my usual spot here if i don't hit the rocks and all kind of crap you know what i mean i've been in and out of this spot so many times you'd think i'd have it down pat one thing good about this spot is it's perfectly level i'll try to point west so i can block the sunlight with my with my uh window protect my heat screen but anyway this is me i'm at the campsite right now that car right there is parked there but their campsite is about 75 feet off out there in that brush i don't know why they park there that's not where they're supposed to park there's actually a parking spot just to the left but uh, those people from illinois they probably don't know the rules uh thumbs up carpe diem adios y'all have a good day bye bye buy american made products you'll never regret it in fact today instead of going to walmart to buy my stuff in uh, carlsbad i went to albertson's i don't know if that's any better i mean i was just buying grocery items so it probably didn't make any difference anyway but anyway you guys have a great day enjoy bye bye